Hey, hello. I am Burke. Welcome to Road Odyssey. Hope you're doing great. Please subscribe down below. Thank you very much. And this video is about the RPM Act. RPM stands for Recognizing the Protection of Motorsports Act. Now, what this amounts to is a conflict or a struggle, maybe, uh, between gas-powered motorsports and environmental protection laws. So within this video, we will be going over the laws, emission control systems, what is tampering, uh, what effects does emission systems have on cars, and why is the RPM Act so important and so important now? So let's get into all this good stuff. Here we go. The RPM Act, or Recognizing the Protection of Motorsports Act. This act began to come to life as far back as 2015. The RPM Act, also known as H.R. 5434 is an amendment to the Clean Air Act. And what it says is it provides an exemption from certain anti tampering provisions for certain actions for modifying a motor vehicle that is not legal for operation on a street or highway and is to be used solely for competition and for other purposes. The RPM Act is a means of protecting those that modify a street legal car into a race car. And this is done via aftermarket parts and deleting emission control systems most often. Essentially, the RPM Act reverses the EPA's interpretation that the Clean Air Act does not allow a motor vehicle, car, truck, motorcycle, to be converted into a dedicated race car. What the RPM Act does not permit is dual usage street and track vehicles to remove their emissions equipment. And like I said before, the RPM Act also does not permit any vehicle to remove emissions equipment or reconfigure the pre-existing emissions equipment regardless of whether or not that vehicle still meets EPA standards. SEMA is Specialty Equipment Market Association. It is the trade association for aftermarket equipment manufacturers, including companies that make uh, defeat devices, that these defeat devices will omit all emissions controls and they are theoretically supposed to be used only for race cars or cars purpose built for racing. SEMA has been at the forefront for at least the past six years in trying to make a guarantee that anybody making modifications to a manufactured car or even a purpose-built from scratch car for the purpose of racing will not be fined or have their car taken away or you know put in jail because those cars might not have emission control systems. The number one contention against the RPM Act is that these defeat devices that remove the EPA systems and the emission systems are actually being used on daily driver passenger cars and trucks. And these people feel that this must stop. Now, their contention may be true because there are many, many people who will remove emission control systems devices for the sake 
of gaining more horsepower and more performance out of their car's engine. The Clean Air Act Amendment of 1990 established even tighter pollution standards for emissions from cars and trucks. The standards reduced the tailpipe emissions of the pollutants on a phased-in basis that began the model year of 1994. This amendment also required that manufacturers reduce vehicle emissions resulting from evaporation of gasoline during refueling. Quickly, in case you're not aware of what the emission control system is in cars and trucks, it is the components, the devices, that come together as a full system that provides the means to limit the discharge of pollutants from your internal combustion engines or ICEs and other components that are needed for the engine. Now these four main sources are the engine's exhaust, the, the engine itself, the fuel tank, and if the car has a carburetor, that might be another source. It's important to define the term tampering because this word is used a lot in the laws. So, tampering is removing or making inoperable any system or device used to control emissions from a motor vehicle engine or the vehicle itself designed for transporting persons or property on a street or highway. The only exception to the tampering rule is the need, need, to install a new certified emission control system or device that is equally effective in reducing vehicle emissions. Okay, this following statement is extremely important and goes directly in with tampering. It says, the EPA will not consider any modification to a certified configuration, meaning a certified emission control system, to be a violation. So, any modification will not be a violation of federal law if there is a reasonable basis that emissions are not adversely affected. The RPM Act is really becoming important now because the EPA is starting to really hit businesses, fine them, take cars, whatever. So they are beginning to enforce high performance parts now. So it is very important that the RPM Act gets passed or I would think actually be modified a little more and passed immediately. So the RPM basically protects Americans' rights to convert street vehicles into dedicated race cars and the motorsports parts industry's ability to sell products that enables racers to compete. SEMA is asking and urging everybody to contact their members of Congress and ask for them to support the RPM Act. You can send a letter to your member of Congress by following the link that I have below which is at www.sema.org slash RPM. Now, sending your letter to your congressperson is good and helpful, but the bill is dead. So just keep sending these letters in so that it can be revived and in my mind actually made better and something can be done about this. From my Honestly, very limited observations. I don't see that the EPA is coming down on motorsports or the aftermarket uh, parts suppliers. Now, yes, there has been some recently, but it has not been anything terrible yet. Also, from Tracy Press, March 12, 2021, here's this quote. Congress never intended for the Clean Air Act to apply to motor vehicles modified for competition use only. However, the EPA maintains that the Cold Air Act requires 
converted vehicles driven exclusively on the track to remain emissions compliant. All right, I've got Burke out in the field in Paris, Texas at the Paris, Texas drag strip. Let's check on him and see if there are any issues out there. Is it locked down? Are there people driving their modified cars or not? Let's take a look. Hey, Bert, how's it going over there? Well, Bert, I'm out here at the drag strip, Paris, Texas right now, and I see nothing but drag cars. I don't see any men in black, no helicopters up above, no National Guard. I see nothing but cars that are modified and ready to be raced. So back to you. If you consider that the EPA wants race cars to be emissions compliant, they certainly want your street car or truck or motorcycle to also be emissions compliant, period. So there's not really going to be much that you can do to get away with a non-compliant car. If you want to drive something like that, then you're going to need to keep money off to the side to pay for that fine if you ever get caught. It would be fantastic if the RPM Act got modified in the ways that I mentioned previously. Now, EVs are coming. Combustion engines are going. Things are changing. So let's get prepared. Life is all about change, so let's learn to adapt. Now, for me personally, I really don't want combustion engines to go away. I love them, love the sound and everything else. But you know, let's all just stay calm, be prepared for the future, and do our best to enjoy ourselves while we can. Let me reiterate, the changes or additions that I'd like to see for the RPM Act are, number one, modified cars with different emissions configurations can be trailered to and from tracks. Number two, modified cars with different emissions configurations yet meet emissions standards are legal. Number three, modified cars using performance replacement parts and meet emissions standards are legal. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please subscribe down below. And y'all are great. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thanks for hanging in there with me. And y'all take it easy. Relax. And I will see you later. Bye.